This is the user guide for the Pomodyne O2 Max Trio CPAP kit, distributed by Ventmed to the UK. In this video, we will cover the use of the kit during the coronavirus outbreak, when it can be used, all of the key features and how they function, including the hospital grade or a nasal mask that comes with the kit, and finally setting up the kit once it's out of the bag. The O2 Max Trio is a completely disposable high flow system that delivers 140 litres per minute of flow to patients. This kit is plugged into an oxygen quick neck wall port or oxygen cylinder, allowing COVID-19 patients to receive CPAP therapy without the need for a ventilator. The O2 Max Trio is not a replacement for a ventilator, however it can be implemented during the coronavirus outbreak to assist departments through the following. Supplying CPAP therapy to patients whilst awaiting triage or hospital bed, allowing movement of patients whilst continuing therapy, weaning recovering patients off of ventilators, and avoiding intubation. The O2 Max Trio is designed to allow the quick and simple implication of CPAP therapy. All of the components, except for the Schrader connector, come in one bag, ready to tear open and use. The white Schrader connector allows the O2 Max Trio to be plugged into the Oxygen Quick Connect wall port or Oxygen Cylinder. Many countries require different types of these connectors. Therefore, during the pandemic, they are being issued separately to the rest of the kit. This is to optimise production lines and get as many of these to countries that need them as possible. These therefore need to be attached to the kit before you begin therapy, which is done by screwing into the end of the circuit as shown. Located just below the Schrader connector is the FiO2 dial, which can be turned to deliver 30, 60 or 90% oxygen. The flow rates for these are as follows. At 30%, the kit will be pulling in 22 litres of flow. At 60, 57 litres per minute, and at 90, 130 litres per minute. The FiO2 is adjusted independently of flow and peak, therefore simply set your desired percentage and leave. Underneath the FiO2 dial, you will find the 99.999% bacterial and viral filter. This is where the ambient air is drawn into the circuit to provide a total of 140 litres per minute of flow. The extendable tubing will open out to over 6 feet in length. During therapy, ensure the flow isn't being disrupted by any twists or obstructions. At the other end of the tubing, we find the T-valve that will connect the circuit to the oronasal mask. On top of this valve, you will find the mechanical peep dial with which you set your desired peep for therapy. This adjustment is also independent of flow as well as the FiO2. Therefore, simply turn the dial to 5, 7.5, 10, 12.5, or 15 centimeters of water to set your desired peep and leave. On the underside of the T valve is the spring valve that will allow you to nebulize the patient during therapy. To do this, Load the medication into the barrel supplied with the kit using the needle entry port or simply by unscrewing the top, loading the medication into the barrel and screwing back on. You then push the barrel up into the T-valve, plug the lead into the O2 source and turn on to begin nebulizing. If the barrel happens to be removed from the circuit, the spring valve will lower to ensure the circuit remains closed. The T-valve is also fitted with an orange anti-asphyxiation valve. This safety feature ensures that the patient is able to inhale ambient air and avoid asphyxiation should the flow fail. The interface supplied with the O2 Max Trio kit is a hospital grade or a nasal mask used widely across the globe in acute care settings. This kit comes with either a medium or a large mask, therefore please ensure you have the correct size before opening. This can be checked on the front of the kit. Once the kit is open, you can check you have the correct size of mask by looking at the underside. The OmniClip can be used to adjust the forehead support to accommodate varying facial profiles and maximise comfort and leak management. Simply pinch the clip to move the head support up and down or in and out to reach your most desired setup. The OmniClip operates on a hinge and can therefore be swung outwards to allow the patient a drink without having to remove the whole mask. 
For this, only the two bottom clips will have to be removed. The headgear contains a second Velcro strap at each point of attachment to the mask. These can be used to reduce the size of the headgear for smaller heads without causing any excess strapping. Simply pull the second Velcro tab through the loop and stick down. The remaining strapping can then be stuck to the headgear. Ensure any adjustments made on one side are mirrored on the other to maintain comfort. To attach the headgear to the bottom of the mask, place the clips at the angle shown and push down on the top to lock it into place. You should hear a small click when attached. To remove, simply bring the clip to the same angle it was attached, place your thumb on top and turn towards yourself in a key-like fashion. If a clip is ever lost, simply pull the strapping through the loop on the mask and use the velcro tab to stick back down. The mask's cushion consists of two thin layers of silicon, which the airflow moves in between to inflate and fit to the patient's face. If you're experiencing too much leak, firstly ensure you have the correct size mask for the patient. If you're still experiencing a high leak, we firstly recommend loosening the mask to allow the mechanism of the double layer cushion to function before you attempt to tighten the headgear. When the mask is fitted correctly, you should be able to place one to two fingers between the headgear and the patient's head. There are also two oxygen entrainment ports located at the bottom of the mask. These will allow you to entrain extra oxygen if required. However, if you're not using these ports, please ensure that the silicon caps are left on, otherwise you will be experiencing a higher leak than expected. To begin setting up the kit, tear open the bag containing all the components except the white trailer connector. This will have to be connected to the kit, which is done by screwing the connector onto the rest of the circuit. When all of the components are out of the bag, attach the Schrader connector to the circuit by screwing it into the port. Then, attach the oronasal mask to the T-valve containing the peep dial. Use this to set your desired peep for therapy before making any required FiO2 adjustments. Then, plug the kit into your oxygen source using the Schrader connector and turn on to begin CPAP therapy. Have one member of staff hold the mask to the patient's face, allowing them to take a few breaths before another staff member adjusts and fits. This has been shown to increase the patient's tolerance to the therapy. So that completes the user guide for the Palmodyne O2 Max Trio. We hope this has answered as many questions as possible. However, if you still would like to get in touch with one of our team, please send your inquiry to info at ventmed.com and we will answer this as soon as possible. We're constantly looking to supply as many of these kits as possible to hospitals fighting coronavirus. So from all of us at Burnt Med, thank you for your continued patience and understanding during these tough times. Lastly, thank you also to all the NHS staff working tirelessly on the front line to fight this pandemic. Thank you.